Good evening from Xfinity Center. The Maryland Terrapins take it 83-69 over Kanipiak. The Bobcats, uh, game wasn't really that close. Maryland was out by 20 points uh, uh, quite a few times. You have to give it to the Bobcats. They hung in there. Maryland looked fast. They, they look like they could shoot. They look like they could play defense. It really, really looks like a good mix of players for Mark Turgeon this year. I'm Wayne Viner, and you are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show live from Xfinity Center this Tuesday night as basketball season starts for the Terps, who are 1-0, and they play George Washington on Thursday at 6.30 back here at Xfinity Center. We'll be back to discuss the game after this word from the Big Dog. If anyone wants to know what the scoreboard looks like up close, it's now just floating a few feet off the floor here, and it, it is hugely impressive. It is one heck of a television. It almost looks like uh, somebody could win this and take it home, but you'd have to have a really more than 18-wheeler to get this out of here. This is one big boy high-def scoreboard. Impressive stuff here at Xfinity Center as Maryland wins 83-69 over Kanepiak. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacker Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Terps have multiple players in double figures, but I want to talk about Kadus Wahab and Juju Julian Reese in the middle. Kadus started off maybe a little mechanical and stiff, but as the game wore on, he got into it. Uh, became quite efficient in the post, had some good looking foul shots, and had a nice jumper uh, from foul line extended. Julian Reese, though, looks like a difference maker. Somebody who can block shots, get up and down the court, actively go up to rebounds. You, can, you sort of feel the presence of a Julian Reese. He looks like he's really going to be something. He's a freshman. Fats Russell, huge impression. No, he's not Steve Francis, but he has that ability to fly. He's not really a dunker, not a skywalker, but he can really, really attack the basket downhill. Seeing a crease or two, he can take off and uh, make the defense pay. Several flying reverse layups. He is going to be fun to watch this season. Eric Ayala's shooting touch came back. Uh, Dante Scott, he, he can do everything, and he looks like it. The shot looks so smooth and so pure this year. And then there's a cast of thousands. Maybe the most impactful of that was Ian Martinez, where's number 23. In the second half, he got a, an extended run, maybe started to play a little too fast. But you can see that there is great potential with these Maryland Terrapins. Um, not that many Big Ten size big guys. I will say Kudus Wahab and Juju. Uh, they look more like power forwards than centers, but they are very effective down low and can block shots. This is a good-looking Maryland team, something to watch out for. You can understand why they're a top-20 ranked team. I'm Wayne Viner. Bruce Posner is away from the microphone this evening. It's a great start to the season. Terps 83, Kinnipiac Bobcats 69, get to do it again against GW on Thursday night. Good evening from Xfinity Center.